The Traffic Administration says more than a third of all fatal accidents does involve alcohol. So, to help protect students, a Nassau County High School brought in a crash simulator to show teenagers how alcohol can impair their ability to drive. Rodina Stevens reports. Students look on as firefighters use the joys of life on a simulated car crash. The vehicle was at Calhoun High School in Merrick, where educators recently hosted Grim Reaper Day to teach teenagers about drunk driving. We want our children, our young drivers, to know what teen driving safety is all about. School officials say more than 40,000 people in the United States are killed in vehicle crashes each year, and they say half of those are due to distracted drivers. One teacher says the school hopes to teach kids better decision making and show the young drivers better techniques while driving. Not texting, not talking on the phone, not racing, not speeding, um, not putting on makeup, you know, any distraction whatsoever. We want to show them that all these little distractions that are out there impair what they're doing. This is one of the non-motorized pedal carts used by students to drive a simulated course sober and impaired while wearing impairment goggles. Um, I was driving around in the pedal cars earlier and when people would get out they would say, oh man that was so hard, I'm never gonna drive drunk, that was insane. Like they were, the reaction's been really great, I think we're really getting the message across. Officials say the goggles simulate the effects that alcohol consumption has on your vision. And they say alcohol-related crashes kill more people between the ages of 16 to 20 than any other age group. Life does not have a reset button. So many parents wish that it did, and they would not have to have the tragedies that they've experienced, but unfortunately it doesn't. In Merrick, Rodina Stevens, LI News Tonight.